The horns on Pongevia are 130 inches. The narwhal has a 10-foot long spiral tusk in the middle of its head, and this British sheep was born with six horns. Don't swipe or click away, because here are the top 10 largest animal horns. Number 10. The African Watusi Locals call them Anoki Watusi, and they're a breed of domestic cattle. Originally, they formed part of the Sangha cattle breeds found in East and Central Africa and were first brought to Germany at the start of the 20th century. German zoologists imported them for display at local zoos, but upon seeing them, other countries around the EU got them as well. Eventually, they wound up in the USA as the first herd appeared in New York State in 1960. In 2016, there were only 1,500 of the Watusi in existence, which makes them particularly rare. Couple their rarity with those giant horns and you have a zoo attraction like no other. The animal is usually red, but they have different colored horns. Aside from being long, these animals have the widest horns of all animals. C.T. Woody is a bull with a horn circumference of 40 inches, earning him an entry in the Guinness Book of World Records. The bull with the second largest horns was Lurch. His horns proved to be 37.5 inches, just 3 inches below the Woody's record. Number 9. Markhor Just hearing the name Markhor makes this animal seem super cool. With their long brown or black coats, these solitary goats native to Central Asia have a legend tied to their name. In the Persian language, Markhor means snake killer. The name is derived from the legends about them killing and eating snakes. The more likely explanation, however, is that people thought the horns of this goat closely resemble a snake. So that's why they called them. The average height of a markhor is between 25 and 45 inches, and they weigh on average 160 pounds. A markhor's most impressive feature is its horns, which from afar looks like giant corkscrews. If you were to straighten them, they would measure around 65 inches. Number 8. Scimitar Oryx This is a nearly extinct oryx. See the resemblance? If you don't, then we'd suggest looking at the horns of the animals. They look like the Turk-Mongol sabers that warriors used in the Middle Ages. Now, the main reason why we don't see a lot of them in the wild is because climate change has reduced their population significantly. Later, extensive hunting of the scimitar oryx for its unique horn even further diminished the population of these ancient Egyptian animals. Speaking of horns, they can reach a length of a whopping 4 feet, while the animal itself is only 6 foot. Nowadays, we can find them smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they are mostly found in captivity and bred in special facilities in Tunisia, Morocco, Senegal, and the Texas Hill Country. Number 7. Jacob Sheep Don't let the name fool you. These British sheep aren't like the ones you'd find on a farm. They're polycerate. If you're scratching your head wondering what that means, let us explain. Polycerate refers to an animal that has a lot of horns. This 180-pound sheep with black and white wool can have as few as two horns and as many as six. The horns can reach a length of six feet, and they look like a mythological creature from ancient Greece. The horns are black, but sometimes overlaid with white stripes. These white horns are undesirable by breeders. Number 6. Alpine Ibex The horns of the Alpine Ibex can reach an astounding length of 40 inches, as the name suggests, these sheep live in the European Alps and are predominantly solitary creatures. The males are usually larger than the females, and the only time they meet is during the mating season. The male horns are also longer, with females' horns reaching a maximum length of only one foot. During mating season, the ibex will challenge other wild goats and fight them for the females. Typical agonistic behavior, when starting, one male will either stand in front of the other or they'll bump them with their horns. The following fight decides the winner and who takes the female home. And this isn't all. Those rigid horns play a crucial role in determining the hierarchy among males. In other words, the male with the largest horns is considered the alpha in the group. Everyone knows their place inside the hierarchy based on the horn size, and they stick to their rank. Number 5. Narwhals This is the closest you can get to a unicorn on this planet. Narwhals look like big, majestic fish that swim in the cold waters of the Arctic, usually Russia, Canada, and Greenland. These one-ton whales feed on polar cod, shrimp, and squid. Their distinctive feature is the helical tusk that protrudes from the middle of their forehead. It's not some mysterious mutation, it's just an elongated upper left canine. 
The length of the animal can be between 13 and 18 feet, while the tusk alone can reach a length of 10 feet. That's more than half the length of the animal. But don't think that this is just an ordinary bone. It's an enlarged tooth with a sensory capability. This is enabled by the 10 million nerve endings inside. It's not uncommon to see narwhals with no tusks, but you could also find some with two or more tusks. Number 4. Greater Kudu Spiral horn antelopes are popular for having very long horns. The greater kudu is not the only species of kudu. There's also the smaller, lesser kudu, but we won't be talking about them today. Right now, we're interested in the greater kudu, the one that lives in eastern and southern Africa. They have long and strong legs for running. On the outside, their coat is brownish-gray or reddish-brown, and they have those distinctive white stripes on their back. They're considered one of the largest antelope species in the world, reaching an astounding weight of just below 700 pounds. The horns of the greater kudu are twisted, and if you measure them by the curve, some can reach a length of about 74 inches. Top 3 Number 3. Moose They might not be the longest horns in the world, but they definitely are among the heaviest. Moose are found in North America as well as some parts of Poland, Kazakhstan, and Russia. Characteristically, they're solitary animals spending most of their lives alone. The only time they'll join a group is during mating season. Some of them reach an astonishing height of 7 feet and can weigh over 1,500 pounds. The antlers on a moose can grow in two shapes. The first one is dendritic and the second one is in the form of a twig. Regardless of the shape, each of them weighs 40 pounds. This means that the combined weight reached about 80 pounds. Moose don't mind having big antlers. In fact, the bigger the antlers, the prouder the animal. Why? Because when battling one another over mating rights, it's usually the one with the bigger antlers that win. Number 2. Asian Water Buffalo With a weight of up to 2,400 pounds, most of it coming from those large horns, the Asian Water Buffalo is currently the most abundant buffalo species in the world with a population of over 130 million. They can be found in India and Southeast Asia, and there are two main types. Number one, the river buffalo, which is a bit taller and leaner. Number two, the swamp buffalo, which is shorter and pretty stocky. Both of these types have long horns that can reach a maximum length of 13 feet. The average is 10 feet, but the record holder was the one with the near 14-foot horns. Their horns grow outward and then bend into a semicircle, the only reason we didn't choose the Asian water buffalo as our number one pick is that the record was set back in 1955 and the animal has since passed away. This leaves us with Number 1. Poncho Villa Since 1962, farmer Gerald Pope Jr. has been surrounded by cows. This one, the record holder, is named Poncho Villa. He's a longhorn steer and Guinness awarded it the record for having the longest horns in the world. Measured 127.458 inches from tip to tip, Poncho Villa is the rightful record holder. Unlike other bulls, Poncho needs to account for his horns when walking, but other than that, the owner says that the bull has never been sick or had any problems with its heavy horns. The one time Poncho misbehaved was when one of his owners, who was fishing at a nearby lake, walked up to Poncho. In surprise, Poncho hurled his owner into the water like a rocket. George later recalled, I guess a horsefly got on him or something. And all of a sudden, he turned that head and I went airborne into the pond. Talking to the Guinness Book of World Records, Pope Jr. said that the longhorn bulls are all different. No two bulls are ever the same from skin patterns and hide to horn shape. Poncho here has twisted horns. It might not look like it from the front, but when you look at it from the side, you'll see what we mean. This big fella has even become a local attraction. Parents bring their children with a bucket of treats and they all feed Poncho carrots or apples. During feeding, he'll stand very still and allow the kids to pet him on the head. Basically, he's the real-life Wonder Bull. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like the next one. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon.